excuse me. This is my take on a transmission line loudspeaker. Transmission line is just basically a labyrinth and the sound coming off the back of a speaker will tend to counteract the sound coming off the front of the speaker as it's what's called out of phase. If we delay the sound coming off the back of the loudspeaker in a labyrinth, and I'm going to cut that bit of wood out of there so that's a kind of horn, if we delay the, the sound wave coming off the back of the speaker it puts it back in phase with the sound wave coming off the front of the speaker. And that's done with this labyrinth thing here. Be interesting to see how it works out with respect to a conventional uh, base box, uh, base reflex box, which is basically just an empty space with a hole in it. So, uh, let's have a quick look at the front of it while you're there. Not that that's relevant, but really, duh. Yeah, 10 inch drivers, sound lab drivers off eBay, and uh, the little squeakers there in their own little boxes. The, uh, hopefully, they'll be stiff enough not to be affected by the sound of the big ones, uh, we'll see. And crossovers in there. This is the lid. I'm going to have a heap of fun making uh, an airtight joint between the lid and that. <coughs> Excuse me. What I might do is put a bit of polystyrene sheet on there, glue it down, press it down to make an effective seal and then squeeze the lid on and that'll uh, hold everything in place and stop it leaking. Interesting design, bit of an experiment. Um, don't really know how it's going to work. Uh, I'll have a heap of fun trying. You know, it's worth trying these things out. You have, you have all sorts of theories as to how things are going to work. And there's probably lots of people say, oh, well, that, you should have done this, you should have done that. But really, until you've actually built one, you really don't know, you know. So here we are. Um, see what happens when we plug it in and get it working. <laughs>